This video is going to show you how to set printing presets on Mac operating systems. So whether or not you want to have presets for single and double sided, color and black and white, um, we're going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is open up a PDF or a Word document. Um, I've got a PDF already opened here. And then select File and Print. And once your print driver opens, you'll want to find this drop down here and it will have all of these settings. Um, so we're going to set up a preset for single side and black and white. Um, that's what most people like to, to have presets for. Um, so the first thing you'll go to layout and finish for your single and double sided. I'm going to select one sided. If you want to make one for two sided, select two sided. And then for color, you'll go down to your quality tab and you have auto full and grayscale. Grayscale is black and white. So I'm going to select grayscale and then up here I'm going to select save current settings as preset. Um, this will list all your current presets. Um, I already have single side black and white but I'm going to do it again just to show you. You can name it whatever you want. I like to just name it by what it is. Uh, that way it's easy to find and know what it is. Again, I already have test ones in there, so I'm going to put a three there just so I can differentiate. Once you name it, you can hit OK, and it will be stored right here. If you have a lot of presets, because this is only going to show your last few used ones or your most recent ones, if you have a ton, you can hit Show Presets here. And it will pull up a screen listing all of your presets. And within those presets, this right here on the right will show you what settings are selected for each of those. Um, one thing to note is whatever preset that you print from last, it's going to remember that next time. So um, if I select one and actually print, it will be selected the next time I open up this print driver. If you select one and then decide, oh, don't need to print, and you hit cancel, it's not going to remember the one you selected here. It's going to remember the last one you actually printed from. Um, but once you've done that, you've set your presets. Uh, again, it's just an easy way to come in here and select how you want to print rather than going and changing the settings each and every time. 